This was a meeting of the bottom two sides in the division. Middlesbrough hadn't won throughout October and in the first 12 seconds Crystal Palace might well have taken the lead. James Vaughan enforcing a fine save from Jason Steele. Borough's best chances in the early stages fell to Chris Boyd. Julian Speroni made the save. And at the other end, Palace continued to create. Cunago in. Nathaniel Klein, so close. Boyd lined up a free kick for Middlesbrough. Speroni beat it away. Ambrose, Ambrose, forward a few yards, opportunity here for Cunago, Cunago good ball to the right hand side of the penalty area, and there's a, a challenge there by McManus, still a chance for Palace, it must go into the net surely, and it has, it's been pushed into the back of the net, and Crystal Palace have the lead, and it's Pablo Cunago who's chested the ball over the line, poor, poor defensive play by... Goal for Palace on loan from Ipswich. Nobody minds a scramble goal when you're in Palace's predicament. Early in the second half, Julio Arca had a great chance to equalise. Speroni made the save. And the keeper responsible for an even better stop a few moments later. Leroy Lita in. Speroni somehow kept it out. Good pass for Tony McMahon. McMahon in a real dangerous position. Drills it across the base of goal and somehow McCarthy clears it. As far as King, urged to shoot. Hits the shot. Oh, it's gone in! It's gone into the back of the net. And Tom or King bumped that ball. And I think it hit against the inside of the post. And went into the back of the net. And relief comes from the Estonian Tom or King. He's come on as a sub. He's delivered the goods. And it's Borough Warren, it's Crystal Palace Warren, and a roar that could be heard all the way in Estonia from the relieved Borough supporters. Well, if justice is done, Ali, on this second half performance, we should go on and win this game now, because I was just dreading that we were going to get the end of this match and losing it 1 0 or 2 0. Now, hey, you can still lose this game, Ali, you know that, because they've got enough pace in their side to catch on the break. Two Palace players with him, nudging him, and Lita needs a bit of support now. He'll find Joe Bennett, level with the edge of the box, left-hand side, swings the cross in towards the far side, free header, McMahon! Oh, it's gone in! Goal! It may well have defected over defender, but Tony McMahon headed it down. McCarthy, I think it was, for the final touch, but surely Tony McMahon, who in every sense of the word has been the man of this afternoon, deserves the credit, deserves the goal come on the Borough, the leading Crystal Palace by two goals to one, well that's just brilliant Ali, it really is, Leroy leading us ever so well, holding the ball up, we set the last attack, just get a hold of it, keep hold of it and provide a plot for, for the rest of your team to support you, he did ever so well there's the ball to Joe Bennett Joe Bennett's ball to the back post is a peach, Tony McMahon well he's, made, he's been, a, he's been a, an old fashioned outside right today hasn't he Headed downwards, it's flipped into his own goal by Patrick McCarthy, the centre half. And we just said his last clearance looked like a tiny clearance. Now the play, though, it's a throw in for Palace in front of the East Stand. Speroni for the moment thought about going down the pitch. That's it, that's it, yes! First victory under Tony Mowbray. Broad grin, surely from the boss. Shakes hands with George Burley. But I have the victory. They've done it the hard way. They put everybody through the mixer at the Riverside. They were a goal down, but came storming back. Tom O'Kink for the drive. And then the header by man of the match, Tony McMahon, up Patrick McCarthy, into the back of the net. And Bonner under Tony Mowbray have lift off at the Riverside. They defeat Crystal Palace.